Welcome to the Lifetech and Moto channel. This is the first video of a short video series on SJ4000 microphone hack. Today I would like to show you how to disassemble your camera and this is quite a simple thing to do but when you don't know how to begin or at which point you should be careful then you are prone to damaging your cam. There are a few things that are very delicate inside. So I divided the whole process into seven simple steps to make it as easy and straightforward as possible. Hello guys, so welcome to the first step. In this step, which is very easy, we have to remove the battery and then through this uh, compartment we push on the front cover um, very little force, may maybe medium and it should snap away pretty easily. Um, part two, so second step is undoing all of the screws. You just have to have this micro a screwdriver and there are like 10 or so screws. So let me speed it up a little bit. Just make sure you don't lose any of those. Step three is um, gently pushing on this power board. Uh, make sure um, you don't damage the connectors which are fragile. And then you remove uh, the front cover. And this is what's inside. Um, make sure never to pull on the lens or push it. Be very gentle because it's fragile as well. Step four is the hardest part, I think, because you have to get underneath uh, the LCD screen protector, as you can see here, and you can easily scratch uh, this protector. So I used the first screwdriver to get underneath and then the second one to work my way around and to detach uh, the protector. Okay, so as itself you can see here is uh, the, the LCD screen. Oh, and this is this translucent piece is over the LEDs, so don't lose it as well. <coughs> so here at the bottom you can see a hole so I'm using it to uh, lift uh, the screen. You can see there's a ribbon cable inside. Okay, I'm trying to check if the camera still works. I just need a battery. So this is just to make sure everything still works. And it does. So again, this ribbon cable is also very fragile. Make sure not to push on it or pull. You won't have to. Uh, so don't do what I just did. So here is the, the locking mechanism. So you need to push it away and it will unlock uh, this ribbon and you will be able to remove it very uh, easily. Okay, so let me show it up uh, in close-up how this works. 
So you can see here, uh, I'm pushing it back and this is how it locks the cable. And now it would be unlocked. So very, very, very easy, but with, without knowing this part, you could, you know, damage the cable while pulling it. So you have to first unlock it and then while assembling back, you have to lock it in. So step number six is also a little bit tricky. Uh, as you can see, I removed the SD card. And now we have to uh, push on the USB and HDMI ports. You have to push upwards and towards inside. Uh, of course, be gentle with it, but you have to apply some force. And as you can see, I'm working my way up uh, in you know small steps just a millimeter at a time, no rush here. Okay, so step by step, and we're getting almost to the end. Okay, and here's step number seven. This is the last part. You just have to gently remove uh, the PCB and everything inside. As you can see, this is all in one piece. So the microphone will be uh, to my right hand side. This is that round object in the corner. It's soldered using two connect two connectors, uh, two connections, sorry. So to uh, hack the microphone, you will probably have to remove this microphone and solder back um, the external external microphone port. But we'll cover that in future. So that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you want uh, new videos like that. And see you in the next bit.